if you want to be able to do really cool stuff, then your training is not necessarily going to look really cool. If you want to be able to jump really high, run really fast and do cool flips and stunts, then a lot of the time the training you're doing is actually going to look pretty basic and boring. And there's no better example of this than the reverse plank, which is about as static and dull as it comes, but it can unlock some incredible athletic benefits. Not only that, but the reverse plank is also a fantastic exercise for everyone else. It's low barrier to entry makes it the perfect choice if you just want to improve your strength and mobility, if you want to prevent injury in your spine, and if you want to restore a normal level of function. So this is a really overlooked and underrated exercise that I think more people should know about and that's what we're gonna be discussing today. To start with, I better show you what the reverse plank looks like. You know what a plank looks like? You just rest your body on your hands or your forearms with your stomach facing the ground and then you just try and hold that for as long as you can. The reverse plank is the opposite thing. You're gonna lie there with your belly button pointing up to the sky. I think adults call them navels. Resting on your hands and trying to keep your torso as straight and rigid as you can for as long as you can. So it looks like this. Hands turned out or to the side, it doesn't matter too much. And then you just hold. Aim for a minute if you can, 30 seconds is fine. And simple though it might look, that is gonna work wonders. So when you do the regular plank, the idea is obviously to strengthen the rectus abdomini, the sheet of muscle that makes up your six pack on the front of your stomach. And this is really useful for someone who perhaps lacks core strength to a big degree, who can't do a push-up, for example. But as you get stronger and as you get more experienced, it's not really as important. And the big reason for this is that things like the push-up already strengthen your rectus abdomini and improve your anti-extension strength, as in your ability to prevent your body flexing backwards or extending backwards, which is what the plank is all about. This can help prevent back issues, but actually we spend most of our time already in a hunched forwards position if you're working at a desk, for instance, you're gonna be in a hunched forwards position. So it's not so much anti-extension you need, it's actually anti-flexion that becomes more important, which is something that you can train with things like goblet squats, anything that prevents your body from bending forwards. But when you perform reverse plank, the opposite thing wants to happen. You're like this and your body wants to fall this way, your waist wants to collapse, bringing your buttocks closer towards the ground. So now you need to engage the erector spinae and the glutes to prevent that from happening and to straighten yourself back out. And this is so useful because when you think about it, how do you normally put your back out? It's when you bend over to pick something up and then you don't have the strength or you're tired out in your back and the erector spinae is what goes. So that's really what you want to strengthen if you struggle with back pain or all kinds of other things. And one of the ways that a lot of people strengthen these muscles is by using supermans. So they lie on their fronts and then they raise their arms and their legs up behind them to create a kind of concave shape. And I think this is actually fine, but some people, such as Dr. Stuart McGill, the back mechanic, think that it isn't so good. And the reason for that is that it creates a lot of spinal compression, which can actually potentially cause degradation and maybe injury, especially if you're someone who's prone to back pain already. So McGill recommends movements where you're not actually bending the spine, but instead you're maintaining a still position so as to increase spinal stiffness and prevent injury that way and to provide the stability that can alleviate some of the pain. Now, I personally believe that a bit of spinal mobility is important and there's no harm in flexing and extending the spine. I'm not alone in thinking that either. If you look at some really impressive gymnasts, they have tons of mobility in their spine. They use exercises that bend their backs all over the place and they still have that strength. However, if you're prone to injury, if you wanna err on the side of caution, this is the perfect antidote because it allows you to build that strength without adding any compression. It's super safe and highly effective. So if that was all the reverse plank did, it would be a fantastic movement. However, it also does a whole lot more. For one, if you focus on keeping your arms straight and locked out at the elbows, this is also another good way to practice straight arm strength. You're getting your bang for buck there by doing more than one thing at once. Straight arm strength is your ability to exert strength with your arms locked out. This is really useful for movements like the crow pose, like handstands, like planche training, like L-sit and V-sit. In other words, it'll unlock all other kinds of cool skills. It's also great for strengthening your biceps, preventing tears during exercises like the deadlift. And another great thing this does for you is it strengthens your glutes and your hamstrings because effectively to maintain that isometric hold, you need to almost be trying to curl the ground to push yourself back up 
as though you were doing a hamstring curl. And this, of course, has lots of transfer, lots of carryover to athletic performance, particularly running, where you need to be able to do the same thing off the ground to push yourself forwards quickly. So surprisingly, this very simple looking exercise can improve your athletic performance as well as just preventing back pain and improving general health. Is it just me or do things look like super high definition today or something. And of course, you're also getting some shoulder mobility in there because you might find that this position is quite difficult to get into if you lack a lot of shoulder mobility. So you're getting all these things for the price of one. You get your core stability, resistance against back injury, you get shoulder mobility, you get glute and hamstring strength and potentially improved athletic strength and straight arm strength, all by just practicing this one position and then making it more difficult or more easy depending on your level and it's something you can do whilst you're watching the TV. As for those easier variations, of course, you can put your hands up onto something a bit higher. So effectively, you're just doing a kind of dip but where you're not moving yourself down. Or of course, you can just bend your legs, which also makes life a little bit easier by reducing the lever arm. But of course, then you're gonna get some lesser benefits. Obvious harder variations are A, to lift one leg at a time, thereby increasing the amount of resistance on the glutes and on the hamstrings. Um, make sure you do both sides evenly, of course. Or you can just put weight on your waist and this will obviously mean that you have to now resist that to keep your body nice and straight. But things get even more interesting once you start introducing some slight alternatives, not just variations. So an example is the glute bridge, which I'll do a video on in future, but basically you're going to lie flat on your back with your feet now flat on the floor, knees bent, and then curl your buttocks off the ground. And the way to do this is by adding a weight, a barbell or a weight plate to your midriff and then raising that as you go. And this is a fantastic exercise that has a lot of benefits for athletes. An alternative is to use the tabletop position, which is the same thing, but with your legs bent and you want to try and maintain as flat a torso as possible. And you can then turn this into the crab walk from movement training. So now you're just moving forwards from that position, which opens up the shoulders really nicely, strengthens the core, all whilst you're moving around so you don't feel bored just sitting there on the spot. This then leads really nicely into the crab reach where you reach yourself backwards, which gives you that nice rotation in the thoracic spine. Another missing area of mobility for a lot of people that can then lead to all kinds of other movements. It's just great that you're progressing in all these different areas all at once. And if you want to, you can then flow these things together in order to create a really interesting combination that's not boring and that provides even, even more benefits. So there you go guys, that's the reverse plank. Do you like it? Let me know if you already use it or if you're gonna start using it now and if you'd like to see more videos like this. I was being coy, but of course this is a new camera setup and I have you guys at Patreon to thank for this. So thank you so much for making this possible. I hope you like the new quality. I'm just taking it out for a spin today with a relatively low intensity video, something relatively easy to put together, but hopefully it's gonna really increase the production values here on the channel. So. Thanks so much, and I really hope you guys appreciate the uh, new resolution. And next week at some point, I'm gonna be uploading the Home Bat Caves video. Thank you so much to all of you who submitted. Sorry if I took a while to respond to you if I haven't yet. Yeah, it should be a really cool video, and there's still time if you want to get your submission in. Head over to the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the Bioneer. You'll see the post there, and you just need to respond to that with a picture or a video, or you can DM me, etc. and I'll try and get it into that video if there's still time. If you like this kind of functional training that improves your athletic performance and your mobility and your health, then you might enjoy my ebook and training program, Super Functional Training. There's a discount on right now whilst the pandemic is ongoing for many of us, and I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Either way, thank you so much for watching this one, guys. Stay tuned for more like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.